or Danny, progression in the Macro Cup. Talk us through tonight's game. I thought it was an excellent performance from uh, from all the lads. Um, one's coming back from injury, and especially the young lads. Um, it's, not, it's not easy. It's, it's proper football, you know. And to be exposed to that, and just to see where they're at, I thought they were absolutely fantastic. They really held their own. How pleasing was it for you to include eight of Robbie's youth team players tonight, either starting or on the bench? Oh, well, it's fantastic to be in the position that we're in, so we can we can actually look at them just to see where they are for next season. Really, I mean. You know, we've, we've selected them on merit, but not just in the squad because the Robbie's 16s. You know, I, I don't want people to think that whatsoever because I've seen seen enough of them to make my own mind up on, on where they're where they're up to and who deserves to be involved, etc. So, you know, we've got a great group of players to pick from. So, you know, it was it was nice to be able to involve as many as ever. You said that you selected the players on merit. To what extent did they go out there and prove that tonight? Oh, completely. You know, I can't fault their, their application in possession, out of possession. I thought they were very, very good. I mean, there is a, a few patterns that we work on with the first team um, that we do work on in training, which, you know, we haven't had time to do. So they didn't really come off in the first half. The movement was lacking a little bit, but that's to be expected to a certain degree because it's a, a new group, effectively. But I thought they were, they were outstanding at times. They really were. Had to work hard tonight, didn't we? Especially in that first half and especially out of possession. Yeah, we did. There was times where you know they were going to have a little bit of the ball. We knew that, and it was just about how we coped in terms of keeping our shape, no gaps, and being being connected as as one really. And I thought we we limited them to a few long shots here and there. And I think they were only really going to trouble us from set pieces. Um, so it was just a case of not giving away too many. Great strike from Eddie, wasn't it? But to what extent did going ahead affect our overall play? Because we, it seemed to settle us down a little bit. Didn't it? Yeah, it did. I mean, I think that was that was the only thing lacking in the first half. We did create a few half chances here and there. We had some good attacking moments. It was just the final final ball, the decision making in the final third, which was lacking. But you know, can't fault the effort all round. At two 0 was it a case of them being about game management? Bear in mind, you know, the time we went to. Yeah, of course. You just manage the game and try and keep control for as for as long as possible. Really, keep the ball moving. You know, work through the thirds and try and get the ball in the final third and. You know, look for that that third, that killer goal, really, because um, they're always going to be a, a threat from set pieces, and that proved to be later on. How would you assess their goal? For me, there was a hint of offside. What did you make on it? Yeah, it looked it, it looked it, but it's hard to tell from from where I was stood. It did look that initially, but things can happen quickly. It's just a second phase. Um, we didn't deal with the first ball, and you know, it got ricocheted back in. I don't know whether one of their lads played it back in, and then. Um, their lad was stood there, he looked offside, whether he was or not, I don't know, but you know, the lads the lad, you know, they reacted so well after going, you know, two one, anything can happen. Their heads are up, they're on the front foot, you know, it's easy to then concede another, but they stuck at it, did the basics well and you know we could have had a couple more later on. We'll welcome Sandbach United to the Lincoln.com stadium later this month in the second round. With the league now secure, to what extent are you now going for the League and Cup double? Well, it gives, it gives us the flexibility to do what we've done tonight, really, because it's so so important to expose these the younger players, especially, to the, uh, the men's football. And, you know, the more they can do that, the more we can see where they're at, and you know, can we involve them pre-season and, and during the season? It'll give us a real idea of where they're up to, and you know, it's great for the, the players who haven't been playing as well. You've got Aaron Dwyer, City, um, Brandon Lee's coming back from injury, so great ninety minutes for him. Um, and we tried tried Max at right back, so. You know, we've had a, a, a great night all around. Thanks very much, Danny. Thank you. Thank you.